It's official. The old ways of launching and scaling performance max campaigns have completely uh -huh. changed forever. And in this video, I want to show you not one, not two, but three different ways of launching and scaling performance max campaigns so that you can actually scale your e-commerce brand profitably and the right way. If you're like most e-commerce store owners, you might be doing one of these following things. You might have a performance max campaign running at the moment with at least one asset group. Maybe you've added a bunch of images in there, descriptions, logos, etc. Or maybe you have not added anything, but the reality is you only have one major asset group within that performance max campaign and there's very little testing you have done in terms of asset groups the second thing you might be doing is you might have an overall approach which is just very weak meaning it's not able to test your products fully it's not able to cater your budget and allocate more of your budget towards the products doing well and as a result you're sort of testing and you're sort of scaling and there's really no direct approach or you might be on the other side where you're completely relying on just one or two major performance max campaigns and that's literally all you have going on you have nothing else going on your entire brand and its results depend on those one or two p max campaigns well if you said yes to any of these then unfortunately you may not be on the right path but don't worry i've been there before as well and while it may seem like it's the end of the world trust me it's just the beginning of your scaling journey i want to now show you an ad account which exactly did this and as a result their entire account was completely stagnant for the longest time ever i'm referring to this e-commerce brand right here on my screen it's currently not a client under my google ads agency or marketing but very soon this will be because that's the exact reason why they even came to us i want to go over a bit more detail in this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make this so that it's showing the cost versus conversion value and we're looking at it right now on a daily basis for the last 90 days if we look right here from the month of august until now the sales have pretty much been exactly the same in fact in the last few days it's been a little bit on the lower end this is exactly what happens when you have one individual strategy running for too long or when you're not really utilizing your main shopping campaigns in this case performance max campaigns the right way and if we now look at it on a monthly basis we can even see the stagnation is full on effect if we just change this to the campaign status all we can see that during this time period it did go up slightly in terms of the conversion value but it has pretty much been stagnant around that range and despite it being q4 right now there is no sort of increase going on in terms of the sales but this brings us now to what is the right way to launch these performance max campaigns and the first one on my list is the feed only approach and i get asked a lot of times that this is essentially not possible with performance max campaigns anymore we still to this day are doing it with our clients and it's working perfectly well i mean in the last 30 days for this brand we have been able to really come in and with the feed approach scale it to the next level now feed approach is only one of the major ones but as we can see it has grown 21 percent month over month in terms of the conversion value the cost has also gone up and the ROAS has also increased which is absolutely insane if we now take a closer look at which campaigns are driving this growth we can see it's this first major performance max campaign which is targeting essentially all of the products in the store and what i want to show you is i want to take you to the asset group section and so show you the approach we are taking here now keep in mind if you're not uh -huh. testing enough within your asset group section you're putting a lot of money on the table which you could essentially be getting and that's exactly what we wanted to avoid here so along with the feed only approach we decided to launch an assets plus approach as well between the two if we go to listing groups we can see clearly what is the winner and it is the feed only asset group it's entirely the winning asset group and the approach here this first one is running at a 3.94x ROAS whereas this one it's running at a 4.71x ROAS almost a 5x ROAS this is the beauty of the feed only approach when you take the feed only approach which by the way is very simple to do all you need to do is create a performance max campaign first and then go to create a brand new asset group and from here all you need to 
do is not do anything here. Just leave it as it is and just go ahead and click save. That's pretty much it. That's how we still do it to this day. Important thing you want to keep in mind is your feed only approach should be one where there's a lot of freedom for the algorithm and for the campaign. This means we have done here feed only with no signals at all. Whereas this one, there are a bunch of signals and there's also a few assets. The difference here is now without any signals, the algorithm is forced to just go out and on its own determine who the right customer is. More often than not, you will find that the algorithm does an extremely good job of just pinpointing that ideal audience and just going straight towards it. The second approach which can really help you scale your brand to the next level is the new customers only approach. And this is a newer approach which we just started introducing to a lot of the brands and it's been doing wonders so far. In fact, this brand, we also recently launched a new customers only performance max campaign and it's already crushing it compared to this first one right here. Now, this new customers approach, there's only one major difference between the original performance max campaign versus this one right here. And this difference takes us to the settings section. All you need to do is come down to settings and customer acquisition, and you need to check this box. Once you check this box, you need to choose the second circle, which says only bid for new customers. Now you are forcing the algorithm to only go after new customers. And you can take the feed only approach here. You can do assets as well. Here, we decided to do a feed only approach along with audience signals. And that's what's working the best with the new customers approach, at least. And we are at a ROAS of a 5.69. Very simple approach. Right now, you want to be having at least one campaign where you're testing just the new customers in general, along with one original performance max campaign where it does not have that box checked. Like this one right here, it's running with all the products, but just not showing to only new customers and that's really the only difference the products are the same because we are seeing that the overlap between these two despite having the same products it's very minimal because this one it's fully going after cold traffic whereas this one 20 percent to 30 percent of it is warm traffic very easy way to launch your pmax campaigns in 2023 2024 and onwards but this brings us now to the final approach on the list which is one of the best approaches to date and it is the super signals approach and to see this super signal strategy live, we're going to go inside this ad account right here and we're going to go on over to this PMAX campaign to the asset group section. Now, the super signal strategy is as the following. You want to go in and you want to add a bunch of different audience signals which are completely relevant to your feed and to your store and you want to make it as top of the funnel as possible. Now, this one right here, if we go inside, we can see exactly what I'm referring to. If we click this pen button, we can see within this asset group, there's three different audience signals here. And by the way, you can have a lot more. Three is just the starting point. What we have done here is shopping cart abandoners, all visitors. It's a more of the top of the funnel level. But in addition, the super signal strategy does not end there. If you run a niche store, which by the way, this is sort of a general niche store, which is why we haven't done it. You want to go further and you want to add in as many demographics as possible. You want to add in as many interests and detailed demographics as possible, because what this super signal strategy is going to do is it's going to make your audience signals hyper focused on that specific category. So for example, let's say you are in your niche store is in a specific niche and it has to do more with the home and garden. Well, you wouldn't just choose home and garden. You would go inside and you would try to choose that specific kind of category of people who might be most related to your audience and to your niche. And once you're done with that, then you will come down to the demographic section and do the same. Let's say you know that your audience is mostly people who are older than 35 years old. So you would just choose 35 to 65 and above, or maybe it's 35 to 64 only. And let's say only females purchase from your store 98% of the time. So you would uncheck these and then you can go further doing additional demographics. Let's say you sell luxury home garden accessories. Well, then, you know, the lower 50% can't really afford your stuff. So you might go from the top 10 to top 30%, so on and so forth. You're trying to be as narrow and direct as possible here to make the algorithms live easier and again using any of these approach truth be told is going to help the algorithm in your ad account get on your side and allow it to naturally 
drive more revenue and drive more scale. You want to try all three of these strategies and you want to have multiple asset groups running at any given time, because if you just have one asset group running, it's really going to limit your overall scale. Unless, of course, you already know what's working within your ad account. But if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen. But I want you to check out this video right here on my newest standard shopping campaign strategy, which can actually help you scale your brand to the next level.